Joining us now is our correspondent in Rome, Seema Gupta. Seema, we've already heard from Emmanuel Macron. Uh, what has Draghi had to say since arriving in Ukraine? Well, the Italian prime minister was really clear. Uh, his message was to the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian leadership, you have the world on your side. That's what he said. Uh, it was a message of European unity that Putin has not divided the EU and that they are united in condemning the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Now, it was a historic visit to see these three leaders uh, taking that train. Uh, we saw those images of them entering uh, Ukraine that way. And of course, visiting that suburb of Irpin, as we saw in those earlier images. I mean, Mario Draghi himself speaking to Italian media traveling with them, uh, said that everything had to be reconstructed. And while he learned about what it is that they were doing, he said that those were words of pain uh, for the devastation that that particular suburb had experienced. But it was also words of hope for the future as they were talking about rebuilding, reconstructing. And that's what uh, the Italians are hoping to help the Ukrainians with and what the EU is hoping to do as a whole. He said it was important for peace talks to open as soon as possible. That's what's going to be discussed, uh, of course, on terms that are acceptable uh, to the Ukrainians, because they do, of course, want to see the fighting end. In a certain way, uh, the Italians as a whole perhaps may be criticized to a lesser extent than perhaps the Germans or the French in terms of dealing with the Ukrainians. Ukrainians, what the Ukrainians want from the EU, in particular because uh, Italy is in strong support of Ukrainian uh, membership to the European Union. There has been open about this. That's going to be one of the issues talked about when they meet with President Zelensky, but also about military aid, as well as negotiations on unblocking the cereals and grain that has trapped uh, at Ukrainian ports. Uh, we want to see uh, that grain uh, reaching out to the people that need it. Of course, Ukraine, an important source of food for the world, as well as what Mr. Draghi talked about, reconstruction. Those are some of the issues that are going to be talked about. But clearly, uh, this is a very historic visit from these European leaders. Well, Seema, of course, the details of this trip uh, were kept secret. But how is the Italian media and Italians in general uh, reacting to this visit? Well, uh, a historic visit, so of course it's being covered very closely by the Italian media and watched, I think, by Italians. Now, one has to remember, it's now been more than 100 days of this invasion. Uh, yes, there perhaps may be some fatigue, but there is a significant Ukrainian population here in Italy. Italy has taken in a significant number of refugees that have fled the country, uh, joining their family members and friends here. So they are watching closely what is happening then. And also, of course, the issue of energy needs and energy prices, because Italy is heavily reliant on Russian gas. And so, of course, they want to see the situation resolved peacefully, but at the same time, of course, helping the Ukrainians. Uh, let's not forget, it, not just energy uh, prices, but also food prices have been affected, and that uh, impacts inflation uh, in countries like Italy. So, of course, concern and what's happening on the ground. Okay, our correspondent in Rome, Seema Gupta. Seema, thank you for that.